Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So, first word is inna, and we have we know that this is basically inna plus na, in which this inna part is playing the role of we call it mubtada, but now inshallah, let's deal with more technical ways. We call this one when you see inna in the start, yes, it is. It is in the role of muqtada, but more precise and more technical term would be harf tawqeed. Inshallah, explain what it means. Harf means particle. Tawqeed means emphasis. Particle of emphasis. If you call it muqtada, it's correct. No problem at all. But if you want to be more precise and more technical, you call it harfun tawqeed. Then this na part is playing the role of ism of inna. Now you got ism of inna. Now you will be getting some khabar of inna. Apeinaka. First of all, we know that this cannot be one word. It is this ka part and this apeina part. These are the two parts involved here. Now, ata, please pay attention. This is our first verb or first fail of today's session. So, ata is madi, yu uti, yu uti is mudare, and iti is amr. So, ata, yu uti, and iti. Now, ata, ata is the starting point of madi. When it gets to number 14, it becomes Ataina. If you, if, you, if you start the chart for Ata and you keep moving the chart, when you get to number 14, it becomes Ataina. We, and it has the meaning of to give something. We gave because of the past tense. We gave. Okay, so this Ata is Fil Madi. And it has built in file, and that built in file is nahnu, bui. And then ka, this ka part. Please pay attention. We have discussed this principle in the past as well. Listen again. Whenever, whenever you see a pronoun attached with fail or verb, it is always the case that this attached pronoun will be maf'ul. Okay? And this will be called then maf'ul. So, ataina ka, we gave you, we gave is the fail part and the file part. And who did we give to you? So, we gave you, okay? We gave you what? This next part is giving answer of what? Al kausara, okay? So, it is also maf'ul. So, you got two maf'ul here. Maf'ul 1, and that is for Maf'ul 2. Let's translate the whole. And secondly, before I translate, so this whole thing, Ataina Kal Kausar, is playing the role of Khabar of Inna. Because this was an Inna sentence, so you need Ism of Inna and Khabar of Inna. Let's translate it. Indeed, we, Inna, indeed, we, Ataina Ka, gave you al kausara al kausar in this aya when we consult the commentaries al kausar is basically a river which is flowing from jannah and from this river prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam will be giving the drink on the day of judgment to his true followers why i said the true followers because we know from the ahadith that some people will be coming toward him to get the drink. And then in the middle of their way, they will be stopped. And the angels will tell to Prophet that these people, because he will say that, let them come. They are my, they are my nation. The angels will tell, that, tell him that they are not from your nation. Why? 
because they changed the religion after you. So basically, those people, they were part of the ummah, but they were innovators. They used to invent new things in the deen. So this is a very serious matter. So they will be stopped. So in a, the, the main point was al kawsar is in this case, we'll call it, it's a proper noun because it is referring to that river which, which flows from Jannah. Okay, so indeed we gave you kawsar. Okay, so this will be our translation of the ayah. And now inshallah, if you have any question, you can ask me. Next ayah. Uh, let me rub this ayah so inshallah you can see it properly. So the next ayah is Fasalli li rabbika wanhar. So this fa, fa is just coming here to connect this one with the previous one. So you can say that this fa is atu. So fa is simply harf. So and then salli, second verb of today's class, salli, salla with ya at the end and then um, uh, with the alif maksura. So salla, salla, madi, you salli mudare and salli is the amr. One more time. Salla madi you salli mudare and salli is fail amr. Inshallah, one day I will tell you that, uh, the, the, that where you can go to see all the three forms of any verb in the Quran. Inshallah, I will show you very soon. So, Anyhow, this salli is basically fail amr. It is fail amr. And because it is number one in the amr, so it has a built-in file. And that built-in file is anta. So, you salli mean, uh, salli, has, salli has the meaning of uh, to make dua as well. But here, it is in the meaning of prayer. For salli, you pray. Li rabbika, li rabbika. So first of all, it's a jar majroor. Okay. And we know that jar majroor within a jumlatul failia is always called muta'allik. So the whole thing, li rabbika is in the role of muta'allik. But at the same time, we know that it is jar. Nam is the jar part. Plus rabbika is the this Rabbika is the Majroor part. And Rabbika itself is Mudaf Mudaf Ilay. Why? Because Rabbi and Ka. Because we know the principle that whenever Ism is connected with the attached pronoun, it is always Mudaf Mudaf Ilay. So Rabbika is connected with each other. Rabbika is Mudaf Mudaf Ilay and Nam was Jar. So Nam Jar. Rabbika, whole thing will play the role of Majroor and this whole thing will be called Muta'allik will fail. And then Wow. Wow is the connector. Harf Atuf. And then In Harf. Okay. It's all again a command. Salli, first command and In Harf, second command. So there are two commands. Okay. So it is command this and it is it mean that fail amr and it has built in file anta. Let's translate this one. So because you know that this fa would translate the fa according to the context. Okay. So salli you pray lirabbika. For your master or to your master, both will be correct. One her and so nahara, nahara, nahara has the meaning of to sacrifice something. Okay, as we do on the occasion of Eidul Adha. Those animal sacrifices, the Arabic term is nahar. Those animal slaughtering 
on the occasion of Eid al-Adha or any occasion, that is called the action of Nahar. So we're doing Nahar. So from that thing, Allah is uh, commanding to Wasallam that you, you pray to your Rabb and you make sacrifice. Okay? Any question about this ayah? Okay, let's inshallah do the last ayah. So the last ayah is Inna Shani Aka Huwal Abutar. So First of all, we have the inna part, and I mentioned earlier that this inna, it will play the role of muqtada, or you can also call it, now you will, inshallah, from now onward, we call inna hastoki, but if you call it muqtada, it is also correct. Shania, this shania. And ka, you can see that two things are joined together. Shania and ka. This shania, you see shania in nasab status. And we always have to keep in mind that ism of inna is has to be in nasab status. Okay. So shania and ka. Shania mean enemy. Shania mean enemy. Or and ka mean your your enemy. So this shania and ka is a mudaf mudaf ilay fragment so in which shania part is the mudaf and ka part is the mudaf ilay okay and but this is playing the role of ism of inna so shania shania ka together is playing the role of ism of inna and then you got this word hua I have mentioned last time and in the last surah, please listen again. As soon as you see an independent pronoun, you are sure that a jumla tul ismiya has started. What, the, what role that jumla will play, we'll think after. But one thing is for sure that jumla tul ismiya has started and hua will become the mubtada. And then al abtaru, al abtaru. So this al abtaru part is the khabar part. So huwa is muqtada and al abtaru khabar. Huwa, he, al abtaru. Uh, abtar means the one whose lineage is cut off. Clear? It means the one whose lineage is cut off. So uh, I don't know what is the word in the translation, but that is the meaning of abtar. Okay. So, inna, indeed, first talk is, shane aka, ism of inna, and huwal abtaru together. Remember, huwal abtaru together. Hua and abtar together, complete jumla to ismiya, will play the role of khabar of inna. Indeed, your enemy, comma, he is cut off. Because we know, that these are those situations where your khabar itself is a complete sentence. And it makes the jumla emphatic. Let's translate the whole, inshallah, once, once, and then shall ask me any question. So, indeed, we, we, we have given you or we gave you. Both are correct. Because madi means something has already happened. So, indeed, we have given you the kawsar. So, you pray to your Rabb and you make sacrifice. Indeed, your enemy, he is cut off. Okay, so this will be the translation. And inshallah, now you are more than welcome if you have 